Okay, like I kind of said, like, um, I'll, I'll do one more, and if this is hard-headed, and then we'll see. Uh, I'm going to mention the least expected killer. Uh, it's funny how in horror movies, where you get the least expected killer, where you get a person that you thought was the killer, and then was exonerated, then later on in the film, it's just like, oh, well, he wasn't the killer because this other person was working with him, and they were both working together, and but it just... There are some times where horror movies and stuff like that ridiculously, um, to, like, ridiculous measures go, and I think the Scream movies are the perfect example of killers that towards, like, the end of the movie, you're just, like, you're just, like, trying to, like, well, I think it's gotta be this person at this time, like, I really think it's gotta be this one. And then the killer goes after this person and it's just like, well, I guess it's not that person then. And then you find out at the very end of the film that it's like, um, whoever the killer was in the first movie, it's their um, sisters, brothers, cousin, twice removed uncle, um, Ziz, boyfriend who um, had a neighbor that um is the killer now <laughs> it's just like like once you get to where you find out that like in a lot of these movies it's just like oh well uh Sydney had a brother oh my god and he's the killer in this movie it's uh, there it got to the point where in these movies they just kept reaching and reaching and reaching and towards the I think the very last screen movie like nobody really cared who the killer was anymore because I think it was like two or three people that were the killer um and they were actually the uh younger generation of people that you thought that like oh they're gonna take this scream thing and like take it into a new generation but really it's the new generation that's trying to kill off the older generation so it's just like Man, was that just a waste of time. <laughs> like, that that was stupid. Um, and if anything, it was just to draw Sydney out one more time. To try and go after her. Because she's the, the famous ghost face uh, victim that always got away. Um, so, if anything, I think I might just leave that here. Because this will probably stop very soon. So, um... But like I said, there's so many times where, um, uh, in like Friday the 13th, like Jason wasn't Jason and so, like the killer was his mother or some paramedic or some, somebody that wasn't really Jason. But anyways, I'm going to stop that here because this is the last, um, thing that I wanted to mention on this video and I hope this all edits well. So I have to say goodbye. And say good luck and good night and goodbye, everybody. Hopefully this edits well.